How safe is the meat you serve your family? Since 2018, outbreaks of food poisoning associated with raw meat have made at least 1,200 people sick. Not really what you want to hear when you're sitting down for breakfast, we know, but it is important to talk about so you and your family, of course, don't get sick. Luckily, Jennifer Kraus is live from her kitchen this morning with some ways to help us keep that from happening. Jen, good morning. What do we need to know? Good morning. We're talking about ground meat. We use it for burgers on the grill or cooking dinner. You know, a lot of times you look at it, it looks fine. You smell it. It smells fine. You think it's okay. Turns out though, testing shows it can still be full of all sorts of harmful bacteria. Ground meat has long been a staple in our diets. From hamburgers, meatballs, and meatloafs, Americans bought more than $13 billion worth of ground meat last year. But that love of ground meat comes with a price. It's one of the foods most likely to cause food poisoning. So nearly a third of the ground chicken we tested contains salmonella. Consumer Reports tested 351 samples of ground beef, pork, chicken, and turkey purchased across the country and found salmonella in samples of each meat. A strain of E. coli 0157H7 was found in a sample of ground beef that is so dangerous that when Consumer Reports alerted the Department of Agriculture, it triggered a recall of more than 28,000 pounds of the ground beef from major grocery store chains in seven states. The strain of E. coli should not have been found in the meat, period. There is a zero tolerance policy and for good reason. It can kill and it is hard to treat. So why is ground meat potentially more dangerous than other types of meat? When you buy a steak, that steak comes from one cow. However, when you buy ground beef, that is made up from the meat of many cows. And if one of those meat sources is contaminated, it can contaminate the whole lot, which could be composed of many pounds of ground beef. Consumer Reports shared its ground chicken test results with producers who had at least one sample test positive. Purdue says only 5.5% of samples it recently spot checked were positive for salmonella, far lower than the 36% of Purdue samples with the bacteria in Consumer Reports tests. Walmart said it began a salmonella intervention program in 2014. Whole Foods said it has a quality assurance team that assesses salmonella reports from the USDA. And Wholesome Pantry told Consumer Reports the company holds our suppliers to strict industry standards. In the meantime, when you cook with ground meat, wash your hands in hot soapy water before you start prepping and then every time you touch raw meat and again when you're finished. Also, use a dedicated cutting board just for raw meat. And one final thing is leftovers need to be put away in the refrigerator as quickly as you can. As soon as you're done eating in general, after two hours, everything should be put away in the refrigerator. Or Amy, if you're eating outside and the temperatures are over at 90 degrees, you want to bring it in within an hour.